Hello everybody, Shocking into 1000 and Bonnie for Duty. Welcome back to an episode of my brilliant diamond hooplock nuzlocke. Last time, we continued our infiltration here in the, in the Galactic Failstone HQ. And I did kind of go off on a bit of a tangent at the end of the last episode, talking about competitive Pokemon battling, but that's not important. This time, we're going to be taking the teleporter, because at the other side is a stairway... That leads to the boss's headquarters. We're going to open the door, and before stepping in, I'm going to be like re modernizing my team a bit. We're going to bring Kaza back in, and we're going to put Bluey in the PC, and I'm going to have Alakazam be my leading team member. Uh, and, um, I think we'll also, we might want to leave Glutton in the PC as well, but I'm actually going to keep Glutton in, because this stubborn individual is refusing to evolve. <laughs> so, here we go. We battle Cyrus. And, um, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit so you lot can actually hear the music. And also, I should be preparing things. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> because this is an important battle. Right, let's go one volume up more. So prepare to listen to Cyrus's music. Right, he's talking about the late guardians. We're not really bothered about listening to this. I mean, I don't know if I should be all. I don't know if I would also be thinking about reading his text by the time I eventually do a Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. But whatever. Cyrus leads off with Murkrow, level 40, dark flying type, insomnia for the ability so cannot be put to sleep. With the moves Wing Attack, Nightshade, Assurance, and Taunt. Instantly, I'm opening up with a Dazzling Gleam. Adios. I hate it when you hear the level up sound, just overlapping the music. <laughs> the second Pokemon, Golbat, level 40, Poison Flying type, in a focus for the ability with the moves Poison Fang, Air Cutter, Bite and Screech. Straight for the Psychic, you're done. And his final Pokemon being his ace of all things. I do not know why this is his ace, but... Sneasel, level 43, dark ice type, keen eye for the ability, so his accuracy cannot be dropped, holding a citrus berry. <coughs> <coughs> God, I don't know why that happened. Uh, it's got the moves Metal Claw, Icy Wind, Beat Up, and Home Claws. I think Alakazam can outspeed... But I'm not taking any chances because if he decides to use a uh, beat up and he does like more than half my health, because Alakazam's defense is not the greatest in the world. So I'm gonna switch Alakazam out and bring in Marchamp. Okay, good call. He actually used Icy Wind, which honestly, I question why he did that. I mean, I can understand if he wants to outspeed Alakazam, but the fact is, one, what is Sneasel is already faster than Alakazam, and two, Icy Wind is not going to one-hit kill Alakazam because his special defense is really good. It 
If you are actually wondering about his original Diamond and Pearl team, um, the the team is exactly the same, but there's some minor differences. I don't get that pose, honestly. Like, I mean, people like come up with some really funny memes involving that pose of Cyrus. It's almost like a little bit of a dab, except it's not actually dabbing. <laughs> but anyway, his Murkrow would actually have Nightshade, Rulepick, Astonish, and Embargo in Diamond and Pearl. Uh, Golbat would have Air Cutter, Poison Fang, Bite, and Super Sonic. And his Sneasel would have Screech, Slash, Quick Attack, and Ice Punch. So why the hell does his Sneasel have Icy Wind over Ice Punch in this game? I have no idea. But, no matter. We are not having any problems with this. <clears throat> right, he's abandoned all emotions. He's given us the Master Ball, which is good. Because, believe me when I say this... When we get to the pot of fighting the legendary Pokemon, I am not going to try and catch it the old-fashioned way. I'm just going to throw a Master Ball and be like, that's it, I'm done. With no hesitation. And this is actually something I find kind of ironic about Cyrus. The fact that he's like, if you want to save the Pokemon, be my guest. I don't have any care for them anymore. But saving the, le the late Guardians is what prevents his plan from fulfilling his true intuition. Now over here, you got some very eerie music, to say the least. Uh, running into walls. Yeah, honestly, I cannot forgive the control mechanic in this game. But here are the late guardians. And you can see somebody familiar. I'm going to put Martha in the lead this time. <clears throat> Actually, no, no. I'm going to put Torterra back in the lead. You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new. I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come, in to, come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Our second and also very last time that we ever get to battle Commander Saturn. He leads off with Kadabra level 38, Psychic type, inner focus for the ability, holding a damp rock. With the moves Kinesis, Reflect, Rain Dance, and Psychic. If you have a dark type on the field, he's a pushover. Literally. Which is why I was originally thinking of using Honchkrow to lead off, but then I thought, actually, no, I'll use Torterra. Because his next Pokemon he's going to send out after Kadabra is Bronzor, level 38, Psychic Steel type, Levitate for the ability, which is no surprise. With the moves Payback, Gyro Ball, Extra Sensory, and Confuse Ray. Straight away, going to go in for another crunch. And obviously, he took the hit because Reflect. Going for the Confuse Ray. <coughs> well, that's fine by you, but not fine by me. I'm now going to switch out. And I think the best Pokemon for me to switch out to is got to be Martha. OK, 
Okay, didn't do a lot of damage. So now I'm going to use a taunt because I know you're going to prioritize using Confuse Ray again. Right, you shy ball, but fair enough. Regardless of the possibility, <clears throat> whenever the AI has a move that can give you a status condition, they will zero hesitantly use it every time. <clears throat> right, there we go. We'll knock out the Bronzor, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, which you instantly know who it is. <coughs> Toxicroak, level 40, poison fighting type, dry skin for the ability, which is why he's got the damn rock, rain dance cadabra, uh, with the moves brick break, thief, mud slap, and toxic. Why that move set of all things, I do not know. But... Regardless, you're gone. Yeah, maybe it's actually wants me to keep Air Cutter, to be fair, because increased chance of a critical hit, and plus having super luck for the abilities that boost the power of critical hits, that's like a dangerous combination. I mean, it's something I've actually done every single time <coughs> when I... Um, used Drapion. Because every single time I had a Drapion, I was always known to have super luck for the ability and to give him both Cross Poison and Night Slash. So, now that we've rescued the late Guardians, the next place for us to go is up Mount Coronet. Right. There's supposed... Actually, there's supposed to be a hidden item here. Oh, wait. Why am I going in my bag for when it's... Literally here. Yeah, I was looking for the dowsing mechanism. <clears throat> 